So I'm going to take a moment to talk about uh, food and particularly food dishes. Uh, there are many different styles of food dishes on the market, so you'll need to decide what's right for you, um, and a lot of that has to do with what type of cage you decide buying. Different styles of cage require different types of feeders and water dishes. So I'll show you uh, what I have on hand. So the first type I've got is this uh, feeder here. It's a plastic one with a perch in the front and it does have a cover on it. This is actually what came with my flight cage. So when I bought my cage, this is the feeder that came with it. This top cover actually does come off so that you can uh, refill the dish as well as clean it. Um, to keep in mind that you do need to clean your food dishes on a daily basis to prevent the chance of mold or bacteria growing in those dishes and making your birds sick. So it is a good idea to have multiple dishes. Um, if you have one budgie, you should have at least two dishes so that you can swap them out. If you're going to have multiple budgies, more than one, um, it's a good idea to have at least two food dishes in the cage at any, at any given time. Otherwise, they could start fighting over the food dishes. So if you're having more than one budgie, you're looking at probably a minimum of four food dishes or else you need to be prepared to wash all your food dishes every single day. Personally, I've chosen to have four food dishes so that I only have to wash dishes every second day. Um, now, I haven't used those plastic dishes I just showed you. Instead, I have chosen to use this style of dish, which is a stainless steel cup. Um, it just sits in one of these rings which attaches with these bars and a bolt to the cage wall and you can position it in different areas. I prefer to have my food dishes up high. They seem to prefer to eat up high. Um, it does mean a little bit more mess. You do end up with more seed on the floor but my personal preference is to have them up high just to stop them from pooping in their food dishes. So stainless steel cups, very easy to use. Um, my budgies up to three of them can very comfortably sit on the rim of this. That's if they're just choosing to share. Quite often I'll have one of them sitting in the dish and hogging it and chasing everyone else away, which is why you want to have more than one food dish if you have more than one budgie. I use these for all my foods, uh, both my commercially purchased food as well as my fresh foods. And we'll talk about those later. So that's another style. Um, there are other styles also available on the market. You'll want to shop around and sort of determine what you like, uh, what works for you, what works for your cage. Um, the other thing to take in consideration is water. Of course, water being very important. You never want to leave your birds without water. Some people will choose to use one of these or one of these as their water dishes and there's nothing wrong with that. They work. Um, do be aware, especially with this style, if you do use this as a water dish, your birds will very likely try to bathe in it, um, which can get kind of messy. So just be prepared for that, that your birds may choose to use this as the bathtub. What I have chosen to use, and many other people do choose to use, is this type of water container here. It's called a silo water container. So you get this. This part here is the base. It attaches to your cage and this is the part that actually is filled with water. Um, I like the convenience of this, that this part stays on the cage 24-7. I never take it off. Whereas this is the part that I actually have to worry about refilling and cleaning. Uh, it's very simple has the trough, which is where they drink from here, and then you fill up the silo. This part just pops off, fills up, put this part on, put this part over top, and just go like that. Your water is ready to go, and it just slots into this. It just, uh, let me see if I can do, if I can do this uh, on the camera. So imagine this is your cage. It just slides right in, and there you go. So this part, this side would be inside the cage. This part's sitting on the outside. Um, very convenient. I love it. Um, lots of people use this style. Again, shop around, take a look at what's available, make a choice as to what works for you. So there's two more items I want to show you that are optional, but they can be a really fun way of providing your budgies with both fresh foods and their treats. 
The first one is this little guy right here. This is called a treat clip. And here's a better picture of what those look like. So a treat clip works very simply. There's grooves in the back here that slot through the cage bars. So I'll show you on the outside of my cage. So you put them into the bars and then you simply turn the clip sideways to clip it into place. Really simple to use. These are a great way of offering small treats. I'll give you an example. So I have here what is called a Nutriberry. This particular Nutriberry is made from popcorn with seeds on it. To use a treat like this with a treat clip, you simply do this. You squeeze open your treat clip, insert your treat, and release. Now your treat is ready to offer to your birds. It's as easy as that. The second item I want to show you is a kebab. Now these aren't actually made for birds specifically. Instead they're made for guinea pigs, rabbits, hamsters, animals like that. But they're just as fun to use with a budgie. What you want to ideally look for is one that's called reloadable. Many of these kebabs are one time use. So make sure when you buy one that you're buying the reloadable type. Here's a picture of what I'm talking about. Now my budgies love to be offered fresh fruits and vegetables using a kebab. I'll show you what they have on their kebab right now. So this is my budgies kebab. As you can see, today we're enjoying carrots, broccoli, and a grape. It works very simply. The bell and the plate at the bottom screw off. So you simply take off the bell and remove the plate. Then load it with your choice of fruits and vegetables. I find it easier with the harder fruits and vegetables to use a skewer to poke a hole through them first, since the end of the kebab itself is actually blunt, not sharp. Once you've loaded up your kebab, put the bo bottom plate back on, screw the bell back on, and watch your budgies enjoy their fresh fruits and vegetables. So there are two optional ideas of items that you can buy for your budgies, but they can be a fun way of offering your budgies treats as well as fresh fruits and vegetables.